Hello everyone, myself I am Hav. In uh, today's session of Visual J Forex, we are starting afresh with the oscillator series in which we are now going to uh, get familiar with the indicators which are basically used as oscillator to see how the underlying instrument is uh, trending and uh, whether it is uh, reaching the extreme level and uh, we will uh, be looking at these uh, indicators one by one. So far we have done uh, momentum indicators in last uh, couple of weeks. Now we are done with the momentum series and it's the turn of oscillator and today we are uh, going to use the EF transform that is Euler Fisher transform indicator on the Visual J Forex platform. So we will see the utility of this indicator on the Visual J Forex board to design and develop the algorithmic uh, system which will be trading on our behalf the way we want it to trade. Here we don't really have much uh, description so we will uh, straight away head to the Visual J Forex board developed by Ducoscopy Bank SA. Here I have included the Fisher transform formula. It's fairly simple to understand. All we have to do is uh, take the normalized price over a given period of time. So the time period you have to choose and uh, normalize the price between minus one to one of the underlying instrument. And then using this formula where we uh, multiply this uh, ratio of uh, the normalized price with uh, the natural logarithm and uh, then again we multiply it by 1 by 2 that is the half and we arrive at the output which is the Euler Fisher transform so we don't really need to go into the details and we don't really need to be bothered with the, in the calculation ourselves as it will be done for us by the automated setup. So we will see how we can uh, use this to design the system. In uh, today's session we will use on candle as our start point and this is the indicator block for Euler Fisher transform. We have to define these input parameters and uh, it's fairly simple as you can see from these input parameters. We are back to only four input parameters. In last couple of sessions when we were looking at the stochastic indicators we had to design a lot many parameters. Now this uh, indicator is a lot easier to define. So here we get started. Now to first uh, see which instrument you will be working with, you have to see the characteristics of that uh, particular instrument and decide whether you want to develop the algorithmic uh, setup for that instrument. The Euro USD is obviously one of the most traded currency pair and uh, many of our sessions have been on the Euro USD. In uh, today's session, we will use different uh, underlying instrument. Let's try AUD, USD, Australian dollar, and uh, US dollars cross. And here I have plotted the Euler Fisher transform on the hourly chart. As you might already be aware, we can always uh, choose different time frames on the Visual J Forex board so that. Uh, Freedom is always there and we have to see what is our uh, time horizon for the system to trade and define the time period accordingly, the period for candlesticks, each candlestick. Here we will uh, use the AUD USD so we have to search for the underlying instrument from this uh, listing. All the instruments which are supported on the Visual J Forex platform are given here. Okay, I got the AUD USD. We save it. We have changed the default instrument from Euro USD to AUD USD. As I said, the candlestick period is uh, going to be dependent on what is your time horizon for the 
trading if you want to work with the smallest then it is going to start with the 10 seconds gradually increasing to 1 minute 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes so on all the way to the monthly time frame in uh, today's session we will uh, randomly actually use the 30 minutes time frame and uh, then see how it works on the 30 minute time horizon so i have changed the default instrument i have changed the time frame and uh, here we are for AUD USD is half an hourly chart it's taking a bit of time to load let's see till then we go back and look at the other parameter which we have to define the shift is the look back period and uh, it's basically used to do the comparison and uh, when you use the shift zero then that is uh, the current output value for the underlying instruments and uh, if we change the shape we are simply going back in time by that much uh, by that many candlesticks and uh, that's how we use this uh, shape to do the comparison what is the change what is happening whether anything is uh, moving on the higher side or on the lower side can be compared and uh, then we can use the output values to do the comparison on a block in a block or even for further calculations like uh, using the calculation expression block so here we are looking at this uh, plotting of the lr fisher transform indicator on aud usd for 30 minute time frame now i will give you a brief idea of how this indicator can be utilized we are actually looking at the ELA transform uh, indicator with the time period being of 10 and if we want to edit that we can do that applied price is median price we can change that also we can make it closing price and uh, uh, period can also be changed basically this uh, period is uh, the number of candlesticks which are going to be taken into account while calculating the Euler Fisher transform price and uh, the x value which i explained to you on the chart here the transformation of price between the levels of minus one and plus one in uh, that calculation we have to take the 10 candlesticks if we are using the time period of 10 if we change this to another time period then we will have to take that many number of candles of 30 minutes each so that's how we arrive at this uh, time period and we have to define this uh, parameter mandatorily if we change it then we have the plotting which is based on larger data set of uh, 20 candlesticks of half an hour each for the AUD USD and uh, we can change it further we can reduce it or we can increase it and uh, I would also like to remind that this indicator is an unbound indicator actually we don't define the range on the higher on or on the lower side it can move to the extent possible but usually it is uh, mostly in single digits only but uh, i would also only like to remind that there is no limit actually and it depends on how the price is uh, working has uh, moved in that given time frame and that's how we arrive at the extreme values given the prior uh, history of the price movement so then this sense this is uh, indicator is uh, can also be considered as a momentum indicator as we are looking at the historical data and uh, comparing it to see whether the momentum is picking up or whether it is gradually waning and uh, when i said it is basically the indicator which uh, can also be used as an oscillator so here in terms of oscillator we are 
more concerned with uh, the direction change of course uh, like any other indicators this will also generate some false signal but the reason behind developing this indicator has been to smooth the the changes in the price action and uh, because of that we indeed get some good trades and uh, some of the traders trades will uh, go wrong but if you observe this as a uh, i have plotted it on the aud usd you can see that if we use this indicator in conjunction with other trend identifying indicator i think we will stand good chance to make money if we use say for example the moving averages and um, then in conjunction with that if we simply say that the trades only in the direction of the trend should happen then we will be getting lot many trades in the direction of the trend and even in volatile scenarios we will be pretty much saved because only after uh, some correction and due consolidation we get to see the crossover happening again the one of the idea uh, regarding how to use this elder fisher transform is to simply use this crossover setup whenever we see that the fisher line has crossed above the signal line that is indicative of the trend changing on the bullish side if we see the fisher line crossing below the signal line then in that uh, case the signal is considered as bearish but as i said that uh, this is the unbound indicator so it's pretty hard to uh, consider whether the price action has uh, moved to the extreme the overbought or oversold scenario we can only speak in terms of the prior historical data and uh, derive the normalized price zone and then we can uh, use the output values of this fisher and the uh, signal line to add the conditions for uh, the trading if the conditions are met only then the trading will happen and uh, for that i think uh, we can rely on these indicators and it's a good indicator as uh, you can see from the chart and uh, you can modify this indicator as per your requirement so that's also one of the one of the reason why this indicator is uh, pro uh, popular among the various technical traders time period i have already explained the difference we get when we choose uh, different time period for uh, the calculation of the ef transform output values you can use these output values simply to compare how the momentum is uh, pairing at the moment whether the fisher line is above the signal line or the fisher line is below the signal line we can do that sort of comparison we can even use these output values for various calculation or in conjunction with other indicators so there are many ways in which these uh, output values can be utilized coming to the calculation for the ef transform we can uh, do it on the bit side or on the ask side and both will have minor difference applied price applied price can be median price high price close price low price or open price or typical price we have all these options listed here i will also explain to you on the chart the change which can be easily observed if we edit and uh, choose a different type of the price the applied price here when i use weighted close price we see the plotting like this if we use a typical price the plotting is uh, somewhat different if we use low price the plotting is again different so depending on uh, what kind of applied price you want to work with you will have the difference being generated in this uh, output values for the aud usd of half an hour each while using the elr fisher transform so that's it from my side for today's session if any of you have any query or any idea to share you can write it in the comment section and i would be more than happy to take the discussion forward
A fabulous day ahead. Do extensive testing after developing the system using the Feature Transform.